Hey there folks, I am the Big Puma, wherever you may be and however you may be watching. Thanks for making this video a part of your day. I want to appreciate all the support you guys have been putting out here on uh, the Lucha Libre videos. We've got some new 7 Days to Die videos that are going up uh, for the new series, so be sure to check that out. But <clears throat> especially on these wrestling videos, I know my channel is pretty much built on wrestling in the past. Um, and I want to say thank you for all the support on these. We don't have a whole lot left um moving forward here and then i also posted on the channel if you go to the community thing and look at the post it was uh saying i have every playstation game uh, i'm sorry every wrestling pl game released for the playstation in the united states from the very first one like wrestlemania the arcade game or something like that for the playstation one um all the way up to of course wwe 2k24 and the uh AEW game and all that. So uh, go down, go to that. See, tell me what you guys want to see next. One person has posted so far and said uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. So so far <laughs> with the one response, that one is winning. Or post it down in the comments of this video as well. Um, with all that said, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, turn on notifications so you are notified when we post up new videos. And check out the Patreon link will be down in the description, along with a handful of other links to like Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff. All right. All that said, let's get into this one. It is uh, oh, in the last one we were Kenzo Suzuki and we took on took on Goranda. Um, I don't remember if we did that one or not. That might have been in the previous one to that. Um, and then we did the Cat and the Gringo. We were Voorhees and Electroshock versus Extreme Tiger and Jack Evans. And now we are taking on Superfly as Voorhees. Let's get into it. The Technicos' failure to locate the Mega Championship belt led to continued attacks like the one by Superfly. What can be so hard about stopping this rookie that everyone is talking about? Superfly wonders. He has no idea what's in store for him. One versus one, 20 second count out. And disqualification is on. We're going to take a look at Superfly's bio here. Nine years in the biz. Trained by Scottie, Scottie and Psychosis. He's earned the mask of Perverso and Super Calo. Super Calo, of course, I know from WCW. And Superfly, I don't remember if he was in WCW or not. You know, it's not going to say that they were in this, in this thing. So, okay, let's get into it. All right, no entrances. No, I didn't push the right button. Sorry, not today. And we're just going to start putting it on him. Oh, I, I hate that. Oh, okay. Into a choke. Get off me. I don't like that. Uh, now, I like it when it benefits me, of course. But I don't like that um, when they... If they hit, if you hit X enough, it gets you out of whatever move was just done. So he's, I just did a move to him there. You see over there on the right, and then a big jawbreaker stands right up. It's very strange. Let's see. And while they're down and out like that, oh, this is a submission I forgot. While they're down and out like that, they can, you can still reverse. Oh, too early. Which. That, you know, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So, uh, other than top rope moves, for some reason, you can't reverse those. But while I'm down and I'm trying to... Uh oh Oh! Like, right now, I could have reversed that, even though I'm having to press X a bunch to get up. What in the world? He's pretzeling us. Get off me, dude. Into us, jawbreaker. Get him up. We're going to end this one early, I think. Look at this! Neckbreaker. Oh, shoot. And I never... I can never time those. Oh, nice move there. No. Oh, a kick to his juncular area. Kicks, nope. Get off me. What, what do we got here? We're choking him out here. Dang, he got out of that pretty quick. If we can... Oh, I was going to say, if we could kick him, we can kick him out of the ring. Can't stop those top rope moves. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Run. Yeah, I'm running. Because we'll run around and... 
There we go. Uh oh. No! Oh, Hurricane Rana on the outside, but it doesn't matter. He can't pin us. That's part of the reason why we're out here. Here we go. Bam! And I think we can do one. Uh oh. Yeah, we don't want to get counted out. Jeez. I think we can do one uh, move with a weapon. No, sir. Oh, okay. We're just going back reversal fest here. And I got to only do one move. Oh, man, it was slow. And twist your leg out of your leg. Uh-oh. There we go. Drop him on his head. Bam! Pick him up. Let's go. I didn't realize he was that close to his finisher. Dang. Holy cow, man. He really, like, really lays that punch on us. Those top rope moves, being a uh, technico, being a good guy, those top rope moves really do great for them. But, I, you know, it does great for everybody. Holy crap. Top rope suit. Uh, top rope. Uh, what am I trying to say here? Top rope headbutt. Jeez. There we go. Uh-oh. And, and since I have the finishing move... Oh, I lost it. There we go. You got to catch them when they're down, or they'll do what I did and just run around <laughs> and, and get away from it. Straight to hell with that move. Uh-oh. Wrong way. Let's go for the pin here. Got him. You can't stop Voorhees. Superfly will never forget my name now. I will crush anyone who tries to stop me. Even a Rudo. My power cannot be denied. My power cannot be denied. I will stop anyone, even a Rudo. Ooh. So that's interesting. So El Messias. El Messias has been around forever. Um, in Lucha Underground, I'm not sure if anyone remembers Lucha Underground. It was a fantastic show. He was, um, oh man, I had it right on the tip of my tongue, and I, I don't remember who he was now. He was the, like, the biggest dude on the, on the roster. Um, let me look. No, I don't. I don't have who. I, I I was gonna try to bring it up really quickly, but anyhow, he wore a mask, um, and he was like had this giant, you know, thing that he wore on the back of his head. It was nuts, dude. Neil Muertes, that was his name. Neil Muertes, El Messias, um, also known as King Muertes, Gilbert El Bariqua. Ricky Banderas, Mil Muertes, Judas Messias, El Messias, El Mega, Triple Campeon del Triple A, Muerte Cybernetica. So yeah, he his entrance was insanity. The rookie seeks the counsel of the ruthless payasos in order to further his ambitious plans. But these evil clowns will only agree to help the rookie only if he can defeat El Messias, who also came to seek their evil advice. No count out, DQ is on. Yep, that's the man. So in this one, when he was Mil Muertes, he wore the big mask and all that stuff. And he was probably a good quarter size bigger than he is here. Uh, but he's also got like a big old tattoo on his chest that he doesn't have here. 13 years, who led the led by Cyber the Wrestler, so El Mechanico. La Secta Cybernetica and La Secta del Messias. Interesting. All right, let's get into it with Mil Muertes. There always seems to be a surprise in Los Payasos' bag of tricks. As I enter the ring, I see that pompous fraud, El Messias, and my blood begins to boil with seething rage. Uh-oh. -uh. Oh, my gosh. Um, I got distracted by the seals and the friggin' elephant. My goodness. There we go. We'll just choke him out. 
and break his back in the process. Start punching him. Oh, wrong button. No. We're not. Oh, okay. There we go. That move is so slow. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe I need to change it. Um, let's get him up. Uh, break his jaw. I think if I can... Oh, well. There we go. About halfway. I, I've never made somebody submit with just those, those punches like that. And that kick will straight kick a dude out of the ring. If he's close to the ropes. But, but no DQ is on. Um, here we go, neck breaker. But the um, oh yeah. Uh oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Boom. Come, can I get out of this ring? Thank you. There's a chair. Nope. There we go. Get up, ding dong, because I think we can hit him once. Yeah, so see, we got one shot on him. You know what? Can I pin him out here? Is it? Oh, it is. It's false count anywhere. All right. Uh. Just start punching a dude in his face. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. I have never done that before. Okay, so now the prey of the mantis. We're gonna get this one done. Uh, these are moving pretty fast. Killing flies, the false messiah, and the prey of the mantis. They're moving pretty quickly, so we will uh, do this one as well. And before we move on um, further down the line here, let's see. We're gonna take on mantis religioso. La lucha de apuesta, máscaras contra cabellera. Al menos para mí es muy importante. ¿Por qué? Creo que el personaje de la parca sin máscara no sería realmente la parca. Y lo que es México y lo que es el deporte de la lucha libre, entonces es el momento en que el luchador tiene máscara. Es como dos personalidades muy diferentes y es lo que le gusta al público. El luchador mexicano no es solamente el hombre que lucha. No. La gente siempre quiere un ídolo que represente un ejemplo a seguir. Un villano al cual a luchar. In an attempt to undermine El Rudo's emerging reputation, the young Tecnico challenges the Rudo in the most serious challenge in all of Mexican Lucha Libre. The price for failure means losing part of yourself. This is Lucha's ultimate challenge, mask versus hair. And since we don't have hair, it's essentially a mask versus mask. 20 second count out, DQ is on. All right, well, here we go. Oh, I didn't push the right button. Um, I, so this isn't like a real wrestler. This is just a created guy, essentially. Which is fine. We'll take the mask, you know, and that'll further our Rudo-ness. If you want <laughs> whatever you want to call it, you know, our, our bad guy and stuff. Get off me. We got to build up to getting some of those big moves going. Oh. No. We can we can do this all night, Mantis. And oh, there we go. <laughs> You're not getting out of that one. And we'll just punch your face in, just like we did El Messias. There we go. Uh oh No. No, sir. How about a neck breaker for your neck? Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, shoot. I was going to go up top. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Get kicked. Nope. He's going to punch me right in the chest. And because he's kind of a good guy, I guess. Get the hell out of my ring. Oh. Um, he gets, he gets, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, popularity from doing his taunts and stuff. Bingo, bingo, you're donezo. I'm gonna get in the ring. Ugh, S boo, you suck. There we go. And dropping fools. 
can we oh no oh there we go just tap out oh my goodness just get out of here we might do one more uh oh he shoves it down to the mat he's gonna go for the mask i know it but it won't be easy this guy won't let him the people want it the wrestler won it but no no he won't let it oh now he goes down and this is it he's got it where he wanted him the mask is off the mask is off let's all see his face if he dares to show it he's then better is to show it okay the show must go on out of bismo negro versus zombie clown do we have we played zombie clown yet Yes, we fought against him two two on one. That was a hell of a that was hard match. All right, we're gonna do one more match, and it's and I'm assuming we're gonna be Zombie Clown. But no one who dares to enter Los Payasos' home can leave without a king size slice of action from one of its proud owners. When Abismo Negro approaches the House of Horrors, looking for information, Zombie Clown looks forward to giving Abismo more than words. No DQ, no count out. So we looked at Zombie Clown last time we faced him. That is a nightmare of a man. Abismo Negro. Um, did we... I'm not sure if we played with him already as well. King of Heron. Because, of no, because they know that this title was not simply given to him, but earned at the expense of others. Okay. I'm not really sure... If he's a oh he's it said Technicos up there, top left under his name Technicos, and then Zombie Clown Rugos. All right, let's get into this. I'm assuming now we're gonna be Zombie Clown. Let's go! Big kick to the face. That's how we're gonna start things off. Uh oh, too late. And he's oh, there we go. He's picking us up, no sir. Oh, and and we we cannot reverse a top rope move. I don't know why. Oh, too late. Too early. And too late on that one. Get off me. Here we go. Yeah, we'll just do the same move that you did to us. <laughs> oh! Punch to the back of the head. Come on. Okay, enough of this. Like, I get it. Alright, already. There we go. Flipping him over and surfboarding him. Kick to the back of the head. Oof. Uh oh. That was a quick. That was a quick move. Holy smokes. I did not mean to push that button. Oh. That might be the first pile driver I've seen. Interesting. I figure, you know, that's a. That's a popular move everybody's gonna be pile driving fools nice little judo flip there and a punch to the back of the head again kicked him out of the ring and a kick to the face oh boy you're not getting out of this one got him up uh oh and a scorpion death drop nice and we're gonna blast this dude just cause we're bad guys and we can Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't think it's no. I think it's no DQ right now. Judo flip again, and got him hooked up. Oh, looking like wrath out here from WCW. I know I'm talking about <laughs> WCW a lot, but that's just you know when. Uh oh, when WCW brought in all these guys from Mexico, that's my first introduction to them. That was amazing to me oh sambo suplex i think that's that might be called oh broken back to this dude nope break your neck your leg i mean yeah we're gonna do this move again here we go and we're gonna end it right here right in front of the crowd right in front of the kids it's done Look at this monster.
<laughs> Holy smokes. That was a nasty little laugh situation he's got going on. Her. But, all right. That is going to be it. We got four good matches in. Superfly versus Voorhees. El Messias versus Voorhees. A mask versus match max, match against Mantis Religioso. And then, of course, Zombie Clown versus Abismo Negro. We are almost done. We are almost done. It looks like, uh, what, five matches left? Six matches left? We've got uh, oh, El Apache. He's been around forever. Cybernetico and, of course, Chessman and Conan. These are the Rudos. That is how we're going to start off in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not. Once again, I appreciate all the support on all these wrestling videos. Leave your comments down below what video game, what wrestling game, I should say, you guys want to see next. And we will add it to the rotation after we finish out these next six matches. I'm going to assume another two more videos. So this is going up on Tuesday, uh, the 24th of September. And then... We'll have one Thursday, so next Tuesday, a week from now, we will be completed. So leave a comment on what you guys want to see in the future. Thank you guys so much. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. If you're not, check out the Patreon, and we will catch you next time.